Thy word is truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. Good morning, beloved. You are welcome to this word of truth. The topic of the word of truth of today is ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit. Ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit. Our Bible text is taken from the book of First Peter, chapter three, verse three to four, that says, "Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of placing the hair and wearing of gold, or putting on on of apparel." But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Amen. We are all beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Everything created by God was good, including human beings. We are created in the image of God beautifully. God created us in his own glory. In his own glory. The glory of the Lord was the cloth that covered Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. But when they sinned, the glory of God that covers them was removed, and they knew that they were naked. As a child of God, God wants us to maintain the glory He created us with. That is natural beauty. There are many fashions Satan and his agents has introduced into the world now to pollute the man created by God and to steal the glory and beauty of God so as to make many to lose focus and miss heaven. Our, adorn- our adornment as a child of God must be minimal. According to the word of, word of God in the book of First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, that says, In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shame, faithfulness, and sobriety, not with braided hair, or gold, or pears, or costly hairy, but which become women professing godliness with good works. God's heart, desire, and will for us is to remain the way He created us. That is natural. The hair, the face, the finger, leg must be natural. We must put on the, the cloth that will bring out the glory of God in us. We must serve God with all humility. Putting on costly apparel is not showing humility, humility before God. We must learn to humble ourselves before God in our hearts, in our dressing, in our appearance. Adornment is a thing which adorns or decorates. Adornment is the process of making something more beautiful by adding something to it. Example, cosmetics. As a child of God preparing for heaven, we don't need all this adornment to decorate ourselves. ourselves. God has decorated us with all the necessary adornments we need. We have eyes, we have nose, we have ear, we have mouth, we have tongue, we have hands, we have fingers, we have leg, we have ear, etc. We are beautifully and wonderfully made, and we belong to God. We must remain natural the way God created us. The ornament of a meek and quiet spirit is not southward adorning of placing the hair and wearing of gold or putting no costly apparel. The ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit is the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, which is in the sight of God of a great price. The truth of the matter is that anyone that dies with all these artificial ornaments and adornments will not be allowed to enter heaven. When God created you and you came to earth, you were natural. You must go the way you came came because when you are coming to earth, you came naturally. And when you are going back, you must be natural with your salvation and holiness. Heaven is a holy place and it has qualifications and standards before you can be allowed to enter. You must be genuinely saved. That You must be genuinely saved and you must... Live in holiness and righteousness, holiness within and without. You cannot dress anyhow that is worldly when you are on earth and expect to make heaven. Because of this adornment, many people that died has missed heaven and they are in hell now, in hell now waiting for judgment. Any, correct, any correction, 
anyone wants to make is when on heart. After death, it is too late. Heaven is for the saints. Heaven is for holy people. People that are living in heaven, they are holy. Beloved, God's heart, beat, and desire is for us to be holy just as He, our God, is holy. God wants us to pay the great price of the ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit while we are on, while, while we are on earth, so as to live successfully on earth as husband, as wives, as children, as children, and to make it to heaven. I pray the grace of God to adorn ourselves with ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit shall be sufficient for us, and to live the grace to live soberly and quietly on this earth shall be sufficient for us, and we shall make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.